one of the things that you see a lot in Christmas uh, movies is like many of them have different themes and stuff, but they all focus on the same overarching theme, which is family. Family is the most important thing. It's the thing that matters. It's not the presents. It's not the really fancy decorations. It's family. So every movie is basically structured around we we finally discovered the true meaning of Christmas. And what was it? It was family. To me, this is very interesting. Um, it's, I imagine, also very challenging because there are many people who don't uh, have, like they don't have a notion of family or their, their family situation is very different, uh, which is something that I appreciated in the movie Noel uh, because Noel was able to focus on, like there was, I think she, she had a mom that was separated and she was actually at a homeless shelter um, and then there was a dad that had gone through a separation as well and wanted to spend time with his son. So like more modern family situations, the, 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 that's becoming more the norm. I, I think there was some OED, OECD stats on individuals of marrying age. Um, so this is just about Noel, <laughs> Noel the movie. Christmas is here, it comes with all the classic movies, Home Alone, Santa Claus, Elf, Arthur, Christmas. Uh, just to name a few uh, and most of these movies like they have this like main theme of the true spirit of Christmas is not found in glittery decorations or elegantly wrapped gifts from Amazon <laughs> rather it's about being with family uh, and so Noel the movie itself doesn't really steer too far from this well-known path um, it's about like finding her brother Nick who snuck off to Arizona to start his own yoga studio instead of being Santa Claus. Um, but it does touch on the, the two family separations that I mentioned. So a recently divorced father who has a boy interested in cooking and a single mother who is looking for a job and has a daughter who is hearing impaired. This is an all too common scenario across America the rising costs of living and the stagnant wages have forced many to delay marriage uh, with a steady decline in employment especially post pandemic the american dream of getting married and having a family seems like a like a, a relic of the past that's the thing i wanted to recognize is like many many families just they don't have these stories don't have happy endings uh, so the media around Christmas um, can be this constant reminder of lost loved ones or painful breakups. And this kind of recurring trauma uh, haunts at some families every Christmas. Like why do so many Christmas movies uh, promote this, these family themes even when half of their audience is not married? So the OECD average age for first marriage has increased five years from 1990 to 2017. The OECD average for women's first marriage was, so the first stat of like five years was uh, the average age for first marriage overall. For women, um, the average age for first marriage was 25 in 1990 and 20, and now in, two, in just 10 years later, I think in 2000, it was 27, so 25, 27 in 2000, and then 2017, it was 31. Uh, for men, the average of first marriage was 28 in 1990, 30 in 2000, and 33 in 2017. So clearly, both men and women are getting married much later. Um, what we are seeing is, for men, it is five years later. Uh, for women, it is six years later. I think that this is something to recognize that, that families are different. Families are different right now. And we need to be supportive of every type of situation. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do these live streams is to support people as much as possible, uh, especially um, parents with kids. Because now more than ever, it's extremely difficult. We parents feel more disconnected from their kids than ever before. 
Um, it, in fact, like many kids feel more comfortable speaking to others online about all the, the deepest struggles that they're going through rather than their, their parents these days.